What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another King Jets video and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a camera that was released in 1966. It's a mechanical, fully mechanical camera that still has its name today. And that is the Minolta SRT 101. Now as you guys can see here, the Minolta SRT 101 is still holding itself up you know, almost 50 years from its original release date. Now with that being said, I think the SRT 101 is one of the greatest Minolta and actually SLR cameras that's been ever been made in my opinion. Now before we start the video, again, these are all just opinions, it's nothing fact, so if you guys have anything else to add, feel free to open up down in the comments below. Give this video a like if you guys are gonna be enjoying more of this film content I'm coming out with. So with that being said, today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about five reasons everyone should own a Minolta SRT 101 or at least have it in their Arsenal collection. Let's get started. Number one, the SRT 101 is a fully mechanical camera. With this being said, a lot of the time, because it's so old, the meters die inside of these, which will force you to learn exposure. Now, without that light meter, you're gonna have to learn aperture, you're gonna have to learn shutter speeds, and the exposure triangle, and all that good stuff, which is absolutely a fundamental you need to learn about when studying photography. If you don't know anything about exposure and you're only shooting in program mode or you're shooting in aperture priority, yeah, you have some kind of knowledge, but at the same time, everything's almost given to you. With a fully mechanical camera like the SRT 101, you're gonna really learn, okay, this is the shutter speed and this is the aperture combination that I need to get in order to get a really nice exposed photo. You learn how to overexpose, how to expose for the shadow, expose for the highlights, and all of that good stuff. Personally, learned with the SRT 101, and today, you know, it's still a great learning tool for me and I always seem to come back to it just because it's such a great camera to learn on. Number two, the SRT 101 operates without a battery. Now the battery in this camera was only needed to operate the light meter, but like we said, the light meter usually dies out in these cameras just because of old age. But that's what makes this thing a beast. It's truly one of the most reliable cameras you can ever get. No battery needed, you can shoot this thing in super freezing cold weathers, super hot weathers. This thing is ready to go anytime, any day, wherever you go. Now of course there are other mechanical cameras like the Pentax K1000, there's also the Pentax Spotmatic SP, but the SRT 101 for me holds a certain place in my heart. It's very stylish, very retro looking, and just listen to that clunky shutter sound, y'all. It's really addicting, so I highly recommend you guys pick one of these up. All right, so number three. These cameras, as you know, some people say on YouTube, is cheap as chips. <laughs> In fact, I caught mine for around 30 bucks. I think it was less than, it was like $32 after shipping. You know what, let's go ahead and take a quick look on eBay right now, let's do it live. Minolta SRT 101. So here you go, here's an SRT 101. I don't know if you guys can see that with a lens for $31.19. We have some on here that are $22 body only. Uh, it's crazy how much these go for nowadays. It's super cheap. You can honestly pick one of these up and start shooting immediately. Now just imagine, that's only eBay. There are so many other places you can pick one of these guys up. If you're lucky, you can find them on thrift shops. You can find them in garage sales. And I guarantee you, 99% of the time, these are gonna be under $35 to $40. Now with the body being cheap, we can invest our money where it really counts. And that's gonna bring me into point number four. Number four, the available glass. Now when I refer to glass, I'm talking about lenses. The Minolta SRT 101 has an MD slash MC lens mount, which back in the day hosts some of the most beautiful and sharp glass at that time. Investing your money in good lenses will not only get you different focal lengths and different looks, but it'll get you really sharp images as well. When you shoot film, a film camera is mainly just a body that pulls in light for the actual film strip. The lenses are what make the images sharp, so if you guys have good lenses, you're gonna have very sharp images. The one I have mounted on the SRT 101 right now is a 35mm 2.8 I believe, and I picked this guy up right here for 15 bucks. You can also pick up the 50 millimeter 1.7, which is a super fast 50 millimeter prime for under 30 bucks as well. Now, I don't know if you guys can read that, but look, 10 bucks for a 28 millimeter 3.5. And let's say you shoot portraits, so you wanna get really up close and personal. That's no issue. You can always pick up some telephoto prime lenses as well. Uh, right here is a 135 2.8 Minolta Rocor PF. So now let's bring it into perspective. You have a cheap camera body for around 30 bucks. You can buy a 50 millimeter, a 35 or a 28, and a telephoto lens. You can get this all for around $100. Not only is that big, but it's a great value for when you're starting out shooting photography. 
you can pretty much cover any situation that runs your way. Now, the fifth and final reason is just the overall legacy of the Minolta SRT 101. So many photographers in the past picked one of these up, learned on it, any love of it. Like, there's so many people, and they're still around today, which was what makes it one of those highly respected cameras. There's a reason why these things are legendary, and they go down in history as one of the best Minolta's ever created. This camera is highly respected for a number of reasons, and I only touched on a couple today, but only you can discover what truly makes this camera special. So I highly recommend you guys pick one of these up, pick yourself up a couple of those Minolta lenses that have absolutely super sharp images, and have a great time, y'all. As you know, I'm a big Minolta guy, I'm a Minolta buff, and I stuck with this brand ever since I started shooting film. Of course, I have the occasional Nikon, the occasional Canon, but ultimately, when it comes down to it, if I could pick one camera brand for the rest of my life, I'm going Minolta, baby. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Minolta gang, shout it out where y'all at. Smash the video with a thumbs up. That's gonna be it, you guys. Thank you for watching King Japes. As always, keep it fresh, keep it Minolta, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Yeet, yeet.